guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here my name is maria or it's mj here on youtube so what should i start off with okay i think i'm gonna start off with bags so the first bag that i've been carrying around everywhere if you follow me on instagram if you don't you should but if you don't, I've been posting this everywhere. Of course, I'm going to show you guys how it looks like on me. Um, because this is not doing it justice. But I've been wanting a round bag like so for quite a while. And I saw this one at TJ Maxx. And I'm so happy I got it. Because originally, I wanted the black and white one. Um, but this one goes with everything. And you think it doesn't fit a lot of stuff. But it fits the whole world in there. Like, it'll fit... My personal secrets and your secrets in here like it fits everything i took it to the movie theaters um this past weekend and i have the whole gas station in there this is more of like a shopper bag but i do have another bag that i want to show you guys that um i wore the living life out of it last year i don't wear it that much anymore because i've been more into big bags rather than small bags but if you are more of a smaller bag person, I have a bag to show you. This is the bag right here. Now, this bag was really popular about two years, two to three years ago. And I finally got my hands on it last year from Poshmark. If you remember one of my um, earlier videos, I was really excited when I got it. Because um, these are these were really hard to find. Now, you can find them anywhere. Um, I got like a black and white one from TJ Maxx. I'll show it to you guys. Um, but I think I'm going to sell it on Poshmark because I don't need to. I got that black and white one because I lost this one when I was moving. And I was so sad because, like, it has a special place in my heart. Like, like we have a bond together. Like, you, you don't even understand. When I found it. I was so happy. It was, like, wrapped around very carefully with all my sweaters. Which makes sense because that's how I am with my bags. Like, they just have a special place in my heart. So, it makes sense why it was wrapped up so nicely and so securely this one kind of smells like barbecue but yeah but yeah this is just another option to, if you're not into big bags i also recommend this one okay so moving on to shoes so surprised that i'm actually going to show these but it's these shoes right here i've been wearing these non-stop so right now the whole trend is like these 90s um shoes sandals etc with the very thin white straps around your shoes they look very delicate especially the square toe is also very in at the moment with a tiny little um heel hate small heels like this i think they're so ugly like they're so grandma inspired but this is a grandma inspired shoe i saw these shoes when i was shopping for my forever 21 haul but i did not like them online at all but i went to return um some items the other day and i saw these in store and i noticed that they're like tie wrap and i've been looking for a tie wrap shoe in white so i was like all right let me try them i tried them on and i was in love they either have to be like a vibe for you like you're going for that vibe but i personally wore these to work and then i wore them to go to this like artsy fartsy place and they look they photograph so well too like i'm obsessed with these and they're so comfortable now the next shoe is these mules right here these are my current go-to's because as we know animal print has been in since last year and it continues to be in during the winter time i saw more of like snake print type of items but at the moment i'm seeing more like leopard cheetah print um etc because of the warmer tones and colors that are in for the spring and summer so these i wear them non-stop they're pretty beat up as you can tell from this area right here i don't know if it's showing on the camera but they're pretty beat up i wear them to death i'm an extremely casual person but i always like to look semi put together so these with like this type of top and like a pair of jeans and you're good to go and you did not try it at all also this is like a perfect way for anyone that's not really into the animal print but they still want to try it out without being over the top grab these I recommend these these are my go-to's at the moment i don't want to wear sandals I'll, I'll wear these but these are like my current to-go shoes that i'm wearing non-stop now moving on to an now moving speak english okay now moving on to another accessory piece a lot of these items are accessory pieces because um i like accessory pieces i have an obsession i love shoes bags sunglasses like 
jewelry stuff like that because I, I'm I wear a lot of neutral basic colors so that usually amps me up and makes me pop <laughs> okay so I got these sunglasses from Key Australia I'm sure you guys know of the brand but if you don't it's a um, Australian brand they spell it like Quay, but it's pronounced Key. When I first tried them on, I did not like them at all. I was like, what was I thinking? These to me look like, when I bought them, they look kind of more of like for the look, like an accessory piece rather than being actually useful. I tried them on and they're black. I had them on and I swore it was during the night. So I was like, okay, I gotta go. <laughs> but it's only like 10 a.m. I really like this brand. They're not the cheapest brand, but they're also not the most expensive. They're like mid-range. They range around like $60 to $65. It's really hard for me to find sunglasses because most of the sunglasses around this area, around like my nose, they fall. If you have that problem, I recommend for you to try out their sunglasses because I've yet to have a problem with their brand and I have multiple pairs. So yeah, love them, love them, love them. So another accessory piece that I've been at the moment absolutely obsessed with i'm sure if you follow me on instagram you're sick of me you're tired of me you're about to unfollow me don't but it's this hat right here i believe this sort of style is called the panama hats if i'm not mistaken panama yeah i think don't quote me on that but i think it's called panama hat i have different sort of styles this is the only one that i was missing at the moment i want it more of like a white or a light brown color but i did see this one at forever 21 and it was like 17 to 18 dollars very cheap i like the way it looked on my head it fit and i've been wearing this non-stop now this type of style for me is more of a style that i mean yeah you could wear it to the beach but i've been personally wearing it more of as like an accessory piece with like my actual clothes let me, actually let me put it on of course my hair is not completely cooperating with it but i'll put up some pictures and um a video of how it looks when my hair is you know ready for that but yeah, but for Forever 21, it's a really good hat and it's a really um, good price. So highly recommend it. I've been wearing it with everything and it just amps up your outfit like this. Okay, so moving on from accessories and more to beauty products. So the first one that I'm going to mention is this NYX HD Studio Finishing Powder. So I recently discovered this a few months ago. And I know that this used to be like a huge thing back in the days, but then people got into like Nana Powder and Laura and Mercier, Mer Mer Laura, Mer, that name, and all these other like more expensive brands. But I don't understand why no one raves about this anymore. It does the job. It's inexpensive and it's absolutely amazing. Like if you touch my under eye, it is extremely soft. It's mattifies my under eye it keeps my concealer in place for the whole entire day it's just so good the powder feels so fine it just feels so nice on your skin i've never ever ever set my under eye with any powder and i was like i don't want to spend a lot of money on a powder that i probably won't like so i saw this one there it's translucent so it doesn't show off it also doesn't show off on camera like you don't get that flashback also Another thing is when I put my concealer and I put this thing on top, it like changes the color. I don't know if it's supposed to do that. I, I'm not good with makeup. Kind of dims down my concealer and kind of melts it into my skin. So my concealer looks like it's part of my skin. But I love this stuff. I've been using it nonstop. Now another beauty favorite of mine is an oldie but a goodie that I've been wearing a lot more recently. And it's this ColourPop lip gloss. It's in the shade or color fudge that's what i'm wearing also at the moment i'm gonna show you guys i'm gonna add a little bit more i really like this one because it's like a brownie nude and i just apply a lip liner and this on top it's kind of like your lips but better and last but not least i'm gonna talk about not really the shirts itself but more of the print so obviously since spring is here we're seeing a lot of flower prints and whatnot i'm like i mentioned a million times not really into prints any print whether it's an animal print a flower print etc i'm really really particular on how i like them so the first shirt that i'm going to show you guys is this one right here and this is from H&M. This is a flower print that I would personally feel comfortable wearing and I wouldn't feel like self-conscious or whatever. Now, if you look up close, the flowers are very, very small. If anything, you probably would think they're like polka dots or something from afar. Now, I really like the sleeves. They're a little bit like poofy. Um, I wouldn't say they're balloon sleeves, but um, they're more on the bigger side. 
and I really like the area around right here as well. So for whatever reason, I lost the footage that I had for this top. But this is the second top that I want to show you guys. It's um, a blouse from H&M. It's, you know, the simple shirts that I wear all the time. The long sleeves that I just like to usually tuck them into my jeans and shorts and then roll up the sleeves. But yeah, I love these type of tops. By the way, they're so easy. You just look well put together when you just don't even try at all. But I wanted to show you guys this top because it's a different color palette than the last top that I showed. The other one is more of a cooler tone, which is quote unquote more appropriate for the winter time and evening time. Even though I don't really follow those rules, like whatever. <laughs> but this shirt is more of a warmer tone. So it has the yellows, it has the orange, the light browns, etc. So this is the second top. I don't know if I mentioned it already, but it is from H&M. Some stores that I feel do a nice floral print would be H&M, Zara, Lulu's and vintage stores because these type of tops scream grandma vibes to me so yeah <laughs> And I think that's about it for the current items that I am enjoying at the moment for the spring and I know that I'm gonna get use out of for the upcoming summer as well. I might do another video, more like basic pieces that I feel are essential for every year for the spring and summertime because some of these were like trendy-ish pieces. Um, but I think I might do another video that are more like basic pieces because um, I'm a basic person. <laughs> But with all of that being said, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. Don't forget to subscribe and um, hit the bell for notifications. It lets you know when I upload. And I guess I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Oh, self-promo, but not really. I posted a video um, last week in regards to human trafficking. It's a story time of an event that happened to me. I don't usually promote my videos like that verbally at the end of every video that I do. However, this one I do believe is very important just because it's human decency. And I think it's the least that we could do, especially if you are looking to volunteer um, for people that are victims of human trafficking or if you want more just to be self-aware of the topic itself because I do feel like it's not mentioned enough and I think it is a topic that needs more self-awareness and more exposure. So like I said, I normally don't um, verbally promote my videos at the end of a video. Um, that's why time cards are here. But I do think that this one is a little bit different. So if you haven't watched it already, you should go watch it and you should also send it to people that you know and i also have in the description of that video some other videos that i do recommend for others to watch these people had, don't even know that i'm like promoting them except for one of them because i did reach out to her because she lives here in florida but other than that i'm like not getting anything out of it it's just a topic that i believe that's very important and we should all be aware and i hope you guys have a blessed day and i hope to see you guys in the next one bye <laughs>